Unbound Gravel starts today here in Emporia, Kansas. I'm popping on a little bag from dawn to dusk. Hopefully it won't take me that long to pop on the bag nor ride the thing. But the people who are starting the XL, the 350 mile grand adventure, they're gonna be out there all afternoon, all evening, all night, and a good chunk of tomorrow. 200 starts first thing in the morning when I'm in the 100, then there's also a 50 and a 25. Plenty of options for folks to get in where they fit in. I love going around at this event and asking folks where they're from, what bike they're riding, and of course the million dollar question, or at least the question that's been asked a million times, what tires are you running? So here, without further ado, are the answers to those questions. Larry Warboss, how are you, sir? Good to see you fresh from the Giro d'Italia. Yeah, yeah, doing well. Uh, happy to be here. Nice sunny day. A little bit hotter than uh, the Giro was, but uh, yeah, hopefully I'll adapt to the heat in the next 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's the perfect preparation, I hear, for riding 200 miles is riding a, I think a so, tour. yeah. I think it's probably really good uh, preparation. I'm a little bit tired still, but uh, I think it'll be good. Yeah, we'll see tomorrow, I guess. Forgive my ignorance, how many gravel races have you done? I've never seen you in Unbound. I have done zero gravel races zero before this Zero gravel one. races. Yeah. Perfect. And what is the bicycle of choice for gravel race number one? For so, pretty sick one. Um, just got it yesterday. First ride on it, maiden voyage. Uh, it's this BMC Kaya 01. Um, full with a Campagnolo Air Car. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I've now ridden it for about eight minutes. And I can tell you it's actually a sick bike. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it seems really fast. So, to be honest, it feels exactly like my road bike, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, that was not the case with, like, yeah, one of my former gravel bikes I had. So, uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, especially, I think I had pretty much zero PSI in the front tire and it still still felt nice so um, yeah I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it I think it'll be a really good good race so yeah I've got uh, these uh, prototype Pirelli tires made specially for this race to hopefully not flat um, and then going with road shoes road pedals just because I'm not really that uh, adjusted to any mountain bike shoes or pedals so, uh, so yeah I'll, I'll be on my normal setup uh, with the look pedals got the uh, Physique Argo um, zero, 00 saddle and uh, that's super comfy so that's what I have my road bike so really it's actually just my road bike set up on the gravel bike and uh, yeah I haven't really changed much and honestly yeah it fits like a glove so we'll see hopefully it'll be good tomorrow. Best of luck to you. I hope Thank the, you. the next few hundred minutes are the same as your first <laughs> eight minutes on your first gravel <laughs> bike so in too. your first gravel race. <laughs> Thank you. Kristen Legan, Nederland, Colorado. For the XL I am riding a brand new Mosaic GT145. Um, with Shimano GRX uh, DIT on it. What lessons have you taken away from doing the 200 and the XL in the past that you're putting into the bike this time around? I think um, the biggest question or biggest things is just uh, having as much, having your gear in, in places that you know where you're gonna be able to, to get it out on course. Things get a little bit crazy out there. You don't think quite straight. So uh, knowing where everything is at, it's great. So what's where? What's in the top two okay. bag and what's in the frame bag? Yeah, top, top two bag is a whole bunch of food, uh, a lot of just quick energy stuff. Um, in the frame bag, super secret, but not really. <laughs> um, I'm actually carrying a lot of powder this year. Is that I cocaine? Have, yeah, exactly. Is that what it takes <laughs> to do the 350? Gotta stay up at night. Gotta yeah. stay up at night. <laughs> um, no, last time I didn't. I just did all convenience stores. This time I'm, I'm carrying a lot more food, um, seeing how that goes. So yeah. Like liquid calories by yeah. way of powder. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And the million dollar question, or at least the question that's been asked a million times, what tires are you running? Oh man, the Specialized Pathfinders uh, 42s. 42. They've been my choice for the last five years. Thanks, Kristen. Good yeah, luck. Have thank fun. You. Hi, I'm Marcio Carvalho. I'm from Mich Actually, I'm from Brazil, but I live in Michigan. And what is the uh, hydration solution for tomorrow's tour? Uh, it is uh, precision hydration and tailwind. Grant, how are you feeling ahead of Unbound Gravel 200? I don't know, um, but I got 200 miles to find out how I'm feeling. <laughs> you've got the legs, you've got the fitness, you've got the bicycle, and you've got a key bit of gear in your back pocket. What do you have there? I have this little savvy tool. <laughs> how often in your road racing career would you bring a paint stick to a bicycle race? Um, maybe as a last resort as like a weapon in the <laughs> uh, pointy end of the race. You'd use it and just whip it off. But, um, well, I hope you ha don't have to use it tomorrow, but if you do, use it well. Good luck. Thank you. Mi nombre es Fernando Salazar. Vengo de Monterrey, este, México, y aquí andamos en la Unbound por las 200 millas. A ver qué tal nos va. Y tu BGS. Oh, es que. This is a trek. Checkpoint SL5. 
And for you, this is the, your first Unbound? Yeah, this is my first time in yeah. Unbound, Emporia, Kansas. And so, well, vamos a ver cómo nos va ahora. <laughs> Have a great time. Thank you. You too. Bienvenidos. Uh, my name is Brendan Tree. I live in Los Angeles, but I'm from Sydney, Australia. Uh, I've got a Canyon Grizzle, um, Roval wheels. This, this, is for, this is for the XL, I should add. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm going big, you know, and then I'll go home. Um, Canyon Grizzle, full Shimano, uh, including the saddle. Um, got some aero bars on there for comfort. Not so much aero, just to get some pressure off the wrists. What are the notes? Uh, the notes are in kilometers, so I'm actually doing 566 kilometers. That, not sounds, that sounds even bigger than 350. Exactly. So uh, I got some notes as well as some love letters from my girlfriend and my dog to keep me smiling all throughout the night. So yeah. That's sweet of your girlfriend and very impressive that your dog could also write a note. Yeah, exactly. Right, yeah, that, that should get you through. Good luck out there. Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, what's happening? I'm here at Tom Chester, currently leading the Australian Criterium National Series. Yeah. Sitting top 10 on the mountain bike side down under and it's now here unbound gravel yeah well, how are you sir what are you racing this weekend racing the elite uh 200 so a little bit longer than a crib but got the training <laughs> in the legs so we'll see how we go on the race day you got a, a trek checkpoint yeah the, it's not the million dollar question it's the question that's asked a million times <laughs> what tires you running bro uh 40c pirelli 8 the hard so can't go wrong no inserts risking it for the biscuit <laughs> um, yeah hi my name is Svenja and I'm from Germany and what is your bike of choice for Unbound Gravel 200 I'm racing with the Rosa Backroad in uh, blue and my uh, setup is uh, with a Schwalbe G1 RS and yeah I'm very happy with the, with the setup and I'm really looking forward tell me about your handlebar that's a pretty unique and uh, compact setup yeah it's a pretty small one so it's quite aerodynamic and for this race it's, I think aerodynamic is very important so I cho chose the very small one it's my very first time okay. yes it's also my very first time in America so okay, it's pretty well, cool to be here oh, welcome <laughs> what what are your expectations for the race uh, it's hard to say but I just want to enjoy it I just want to be part of it and want to finish and I think it's going to be very hard but I hope I can enjoy it and like even if it's gonna be a suffer fest um, to cross the finish line and have a smile in my face sure. yeah there will be parts <laughs> where you enjoy it for sure I Some hope parts, so. maybe not so much but it's a long day <laughs> best of luck to you thanks so much thank you <laughs> got the tires on the handlebar instead of the bicycle sir what is going on here I, I so I, I scrambled I drew, went all over Denver to get big 50 millimeter tires, and then I pre-rode the course, and I hit the mud, and then did some soul searching, and I sized down <laughs> today. <laughs> so I went went down to 43s. If I had 38s, I'd put them on because uh, it's great until you hit that mud, and if that mud's still there tomorrow, you don't you don't want big tires. You got inserts in the bag. Here. I took them out. All I right. took the inserts out because. Yeah. You don't really need inserts on a 43 millimeter tire. You got volume. You just want sidewall protection. That's so I'm going sidewall protection. I think it'll be fine. And the most important thing is you got the trusty donkey as the steed. Okay, the donkey has been here. It's just home turf. So <laughs> I think I'm not worried about the, the bike. I'm worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun out there tomorrow. Thank you. I had to, I started to clog up, so I'm gonna put on a 44. This is a 48. 44 in the front. So I'll do two 44s and that should clear. Um, I saw a few of my teammates got clogged up even with 44s. With anything, if you just take the wrong line, if you're more in the grass, the grass clogs up more than, than straight up mud. So uh, yeah, yeah. But it just so depends. I mean, this heat is drying things out. Which one are you doing, Terrell? I'm laying there with the hundred with you. All right, excellent. So tomorrow, Fundy Hundy. Fundy Hundy. Let's and make it happen. All right. Which which what's the bike you're riding oh, here? So we're we'll riding right here. We're we'll riding a Cervelo Espero on some gravel king, not gravel king, but Pathfinder Pathfinder, 38. Yeah. Yep. Reynolds ATR wheels, and we're gonna go out and have fun with it. Yeah. And you got the the aero bars. I yeah, we want the aero bars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Rob Britton. My hometown is Victoria, British Columbia. Rob Britton, you just won Belgian Waffle Ride Canada. Congratulations on that. Were you racing this same bike that you've got for Unbound Gravel? Yes, uh, actually this is, even with the tires, the exact same bike as I raced at Unbound, or sorry, at uh, Belgian Waffle Ride. This one will be changing out for 40 Cs. The, these tires are 35s. Got the Factor Austro. 
Yeah, with this. special demonic wolf design. That's not what it's called. What is this fine design called, Rob? Okay, so this is the Factor Austro Gravel with a coastal wolf theme. The head designer at Factor, Jay Gunzik, um, yeah, did an incredible job. Um, yeah, I'm gonna walk you through it. The, the answer is classified. The question is, what's the rear hub and how is that configured into your cockpit setup? Yeah, so uh, I'm one of very few people who's uh, fortunate enough to be sponsored by Classified. Um, and essentially, it's a two-speed rear hub. And um, I've modified my shift button to go right into the left hood of my shifter. Um, you can't really see it, but uh, for me, it's awesome. I can grab my right left thumb and, yeah go between a 50 tooth actual and a 34 tooth virtual without any external moving parts. No further questions, Your Honor. Best of luck to you this weekend. Thanks, sir. First off, we start with a hard question, sir. What's your full name? Where are you from? Heath Kaplan, Midland, Michigan. And Heath, Heath or Keith? Heath like a candy bar. Heath. Heath, what is, I can hear your tires. <laughs> what what, what's it, what tire width are we running here for the 100, the Fundy Hundy? The only way to do it is a four inch. The only way to do it is a four inch, and not only a four inch tire, but you got? It's the Lauf. <laughs> the Lauf fork to help with the suspension. Love it. Have you done this event before? Nope, this is my first time. I've supported before, but this is my first time doing it. All right. Well, get on you for helping put on this. This circus by doing support. I think more of us should do that, myself included. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Excuse, oh, me, while, excuse me while I take crash you down here. Oh. <laughs> All right, thanks, you Have fun out there. All right, appreciate it. The man, the myth, the legend, Brent Bookwalter, who I passed by and did not recognize. I thought, oh, this is a another master's rider on another very nice bike. How are you, sir? Good to see you. I'm doing well, thanks. What is this very nice bicycle you're riding for Unbound Gravel? This is a steed that I, quite frankly, am not worthy of. This is a BMC Cayus 01 101. Um, this is not my uh, my usual bike, but this is my Kansas Unbound bike, and uh, it's a treat. It is a speed machine. Um, yeah, it's uh, essentially free speed. You know, I'm not training as much as I used to these days, but jump on this thing and it's a it's a race rocket ship it's a lot of fun how many times have you done unbound gravel 200 just once um just last year that was my first one yeah. last year was my first full year retired from road racing and um yeah came out for the 200 and was mind blown honestly i mean mind blown by the racing the intensity uh the scene here in emporia the critical mass of um everyone who loves riding bikes so yeah really i'm back this year more for that than uh, i'd say the racing it's like it's a can't miss Hi, I'm Hannah Shell. I'm from Longmont, Colorado, and I'm here at Unbound Gravel. And what are you racing this year for your third official time, fourth actual time riding Unbound Gravel? The fourth I'm... time being when you rode it by yourself once like a crazy person <laughs> in 12 hours and a half. Yes. <laughs> I am riding my Cervelo Aspero 5 um, with the fancy purple sunset paint job. Um, I'm pretty stoked. This bike is, it's pretty racy, pretty fast. Um, it'll be the, what do you think? It'll be the third time I've raced Unbound on this bike, so I'm feeling good about it. Tried, tried and true. The million dollar question, or at least the question that's asked a million times, what tires are you running? <laughs> it's such a good question. Um, I'm running Pirelli RCs, um, the Cinturato, so uh, I'll run a 40 mil. And I just, I like this tread. It's got some good side knobs, but it's like pretty fast in the center. And I've had really good luck with it this year. Well, best of luck to you. Crush it out there. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Anna. we have been searching high and low for the spirit of the gravel. Have you seen it? I have. You have it in your hand. I have it in my hand. Got it at home with a few jerseys and stuff. So I got all my gear, my gravel stoke gear. <laughs> Excited. What are you stoked about for tomorrow's gravel? Uh, hopefully no thunderstorms, but I'm excited just for a, a long day of testing myself. It was cool to catch up with a lot of you here in Emporia, and I enjoy chatting with all of you in the comments. A number of people have asked how you can support my channel, which I very much appreciate. The answer is go to my site, theride.bike, and pick up a cap. Nowhere fast. I've been in wind tunnels in different spots in the world, North Carolina, California, France, talked to engineers, and I definitely believe that reducing your CDA is a positive thing. I can guarantee you that this hat will get you nowhere six to 10% faster than the other leading caps out there. Seriously though, I do appreciate your support. It's a nice cap from Castelli and that helps what I'm doing with the ride. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for buying the hat. And whatever you are riding on out there, enjoy the ride.
There are more train horns here per capita than anywhere else in the world. True fact about it for you.